today's marathon workout, Yasso 800s. So what are Yasso 800s? Well, they were designed by a guy called Bart Yasso and he noticed a correlation between his 800 meter repeat time that he was doing in his marathon training and his actual marathon finishing time. So just keeping it really simple, let's say you were targeting a three hour, 45 minute marathon. You'll be looking to do each 800 meter repeat in three minutes and 45 seconds. You take an equal amount of rest between each 800 meter repeat and continue until you've done six, eight or 10 repetitions. Now, if you pop Yasso 800s into Google or to Reddit or um, any other kind of forum that you might be using into YouTube, for example, you're probably gonna find an equal weight between people that say that it is not a good marathon um, indicator and people that say that it is a good marathon indicator. Now, I've never actually done these in a marathon training block, so I'm interested to see how close it gets me to what I think I could do my next marathon in, but also I don't see it as a bad workout. It's gonna be a speed workout. The intensity is more around five to 10K pace, um, but I don't think that's a bad thing to drop in to your training every once in a while anyway. So without further ado, let's get out and let's give them a go. Ideally you'd want to do these on a track, but I haven't got access to that. So I've just got a flattish section of road that I'm gonna run up and down um, to do each of the repeats. Let's go. Okay, last little bit of the first 800. I have no idea what time I'm doing. Ooh, 325, 325, okay, so now I need to recover for the same amount of time. meters of rep two again no idea of how fast I'm running so we'll just see it at the end Ooh, 326 pretty accurate pretty close so far okay Same amount of recovery. Last hundred meters of rep number five. Rep 3 was 3.18, rep 4 was 3.27. Ooh, about 3.25. These are good. 
These are good. Final wreck. There is a temptation here to go off quick. Almost try and beat the workout. But there's nothing really to be gained from doing that. to go. <sighs> oh. 3.30. All right. <sighs> oh. Oh. Just a breather a minute. Now I am pleased with that. If I remember rightly, first two were mid 320s, then it was a 318, a 327, a 327 again, I think, and that was a 330. So that is as good as I could have realistically hoped for today, and quite a nice confidence boost because I haven't done any speed work for a, a really long time. As for whether or not it is a accurate way of predicting a marathon, let me know in the comments below. Have you used this and has it given you an accurate prediction? Based on the reps I've run today, I'll be looking at around 325 to 330, which in my head, I will be very happy with at this sort of fitness point and stage in my training so it'll be interesting to look back on this workout and this video here in about a month or so's time just to see how accurate and close it was anyway cool down time now a two mile jog just to finish off the session and I'll leave it there thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in another training video very soon.